These changed my life. We all know Crocs have two modes. Chillin' mode and sports mode. And I'm always running late, so that got me thinking. Can putting my Crocs into sport mode actually give me a speed boost? Well, I guess it's time to find out. So I grabbed my favorite Crocs and headed to the nearest speed testing location. After stretching and warming up for a bit, it was time to put these Crocs to the test. I started with my Crocs in chillin' mode. My first couple attempts ended Crocless, but I figured out how to keep them on and finished 100 meters in about 15 seconds. Now it's time for what we've been waiting for. Sports mode. Instantly I felt weightless. I finished 100 meters in 12 seconds. That's way faster. How many layers of bubble wrap does it take to stop a human being? Whoa! That's one! My dad is the test subject today. Let's see if he can get through two layers. Yeah, let's go! Oh my god! Oh, too easy! Five layers. Oh! Oh, he <laughs> we now have 10 layers. You're gonna need some protection for this one. I don't think this is a good idea, Sean. Go for it. Oh! Oh, he got it. Let's go! 20 layers, Dad. You think you got it? You got me, Sean. Go for it. Oh, he's going. This is how I win at everything. It all started when I was playing basketball alone because everyone thought I was bad. I was lonely and sad, but then it hit me. I was about to change my life forever. The plan was simple. I was going to paint this basketball with the darkest black paint known to mankind because it absorbs 99% of all visible light and detail. In other words, this ball will be invisible. This is totally working. I can't even see the ball. In the game of basketball, you always have to know where the ball is. So this is the ultimate trick to win every game. Nobody will see this coming. Not even me. Is it possible to draw a dotted circle? I doubt it, but I'm not gonna stop until my dotted circle looks like this. My first attempt looked like this. An eggplant. Bruh. Just like it's impossible to draw a dotted circle, it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. After trying every way I could think of to draw a perfect dotted circle, and I mean literally every way, Bruh. it still wasn't looking good. So I did my research and saw it's all in the pressure. I had to apply the perfect amount of pressure and rotate my arm like a clock. This was actually so close. Before I mastered my dotted circle, I had to challenge my friend. So I showed them the technique, and we got to work. Brandon tried. <laughs> Tori tried. <laughs> Joe tried. Shutters was so close. <laughs> but finally, I won. <laughs> I'm the first YouTuber to get their own official drink at Starbucks. The other day I ordered at Starbucks and they told me that this was my 10,000th drink order, which puts me in their top 100 customers in the world. Perfect. I've tried every syrup, every type of milk, every topping. I even call myself the Starbucks king and I have confidence that this is the best drink ever. So I emailed Starbucks to see if they would give me my own drink on the menu. And after waiting what felt like forever, I got an email and it read, Dear Topper, we would love to give you your own drink at Starbucks, but you must have 20 million subscribers first. Subscribe! I'm about to break a world record. This is one basketball, and this is 10. The 10 ball 30 pointer. This was my first attempt. The balls weigh over 50 pounds and stand at over eight feet tall. There's no way I could give up on this challenge. I was prepared to be here all day, all night, however long it would take. The one thing I knew is that I was going to be a world record holder. I don't care if I'm 80 by the time I'm done here. This was my 20th attempt. I kept trying and trying and trying, and on my last shot if i make this everyone has to subscribe oh no that has to count this is the best day of the year customers can visit their favorite 7-eleven and come with their own cup to receive any slurpee for just a dollar 99 slurpees are my favorite thing in the entire world Bruh. so i knew what i had to do buy the biggest cup i could possibly find and go to 7-eleven to get my lifetime supply of slurpees as soon as we got into the store the employee came up to us and said no question is it gonna leak on my floor no, no it's not gonna leak i promise it was time to get filled this was so crazy that even the 7-Eleven employees were taking pictures of us. Filling the bathtub was taking a while, but luckily some random people decided to help us. And after filling it up for literally over an hour, it was time to pay. How much is it? 218. 218. Perfect. So I carried the tub, loaded it into the truck, and brought it home for all my friends to enjoy. 
I just got banned from Disneyland. Let me explain. As you guys know, I am trying to reach 20 million subscribers. And I have tried some absolutely crazy things to do so. Disneyland's maximum capacity is 5 million people. And strange enough, that's how many subscribers I am away from 20 million. So I knew what I had to do. I went to Disneyland with all my friends and we all wore shirts telling people to subscribe to Topper Gill. But that wasn't working. So I tried to get more attention by yelling, subscribe to Topper Gill! But the subscriber growth was still too slow. I was starting to give up, but then it hit me. I put subscribe to Topper Guild where everybody at Disneyland could see it. It was working. I was gaining thousands of subscribers a minute until this happened. They kicked me out and how many wood boards can me and my dad get through? <laughs> Bruh. That's one. Yeah, too easy. Two boards. Four boards. Seven boards. Oh, yo, this is getting harder. Oh, I did that better than you. Ten boards. Twelve boards. All right. For the win. This was the worst celebration ever. The other day, I decided to throw myself a 16 million subscriber party. I started by making these invitations and mailing them out to all my friends. And then I went to the store to get all my favorite decorations for the party. This was gonna be lit. Bruh. I needed everything to be perfect. Once I purchased all the decorations, I rented out the largest mansion I could find for my epic party. And then I started setting up. Everything was coming together so nicely. Now it was just time to wait for all my friends to show up and join the party. They had to be here any second. <laughs> Three hours went by and I was starting to rethink if anyone actually likes me. And I was starting to feel hopeless until my best friend showed up. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> Loser! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why... Have you ever wondered how much money it would cost to buy every single gumball in a gumball machine? Well, luckily, I have nothing better to do. So I'm gonna figure this out for everybody. Besides, how long could it take? I started in a great rhythm, quarter after quarter, making great progress. And before I knew it, I already had 20 gumballs. But after doing the same thing over and over, this became exhausting. I realized I was going to be here a while, but I wasn't going down. And after hours of hard work, I figured out it cost $189 and 50 cents for an entire gumball machine. How long does it take to bake cookies in a hot car? Today it is blistering hot and over 100 degrees outside. So I knew I had to test this out. Now we just sit in the car and wait. Ugh, how much longer? Bruh. It's barely been an hour and the cookies look like this and I look like this. They're not even done cooking. What do we do to make the car hotter? I have an idea. This isn't gonna work! Bruh. After another two hours went by, the temperature in my car was only rising. And then it hit me. I don't even have to be in the car to see them cook. Bruh. I was so hot that I started to hallucinate. Subscribe to Topper Gill. Five hours had now gone by, and it was time to check on the cookies. All right, let's see how these look. Oh my gosh, they're actually super cooked. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. Okay, bro. Yo, you think you can do that blindfolded? Easy. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here, throw this on. You know who I am, bro? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, right. Bro, that's already so impressive. Too easy. Make it go faster. You want it faster? All right, yeah. ready? I'm gonna hit it. Let's go. Oh my god, go. Oh my, bro, this is insane. Let's go. Oh, oh, bro, that was a close one. Oh my god. Let's go. Ben Azalar and I have beef. Let me explain. I checked my mail and saw that YouTube sent me my diamond play button. But when I read the back, it said, Ben Azalar? They sent me the wrong one. So I went to Ben's house to tell him that YouTube made a big mistake. Ben, Ben, look, YouTube sent it to so the mine. And that's when this happened. <laughs> So we both called YouTube and they said They said they won't give me another one until I pass you in subscribers That's not gonna happen Bruh. I had to do whatever it would take My first idea was to buy a Hollywood tour bus And drive all around LA telling people to Subscribe to Topper Girl After driving around for hours My subscriber growth was still slow I'm not gonna pass Ben at this rate So I needed to go to my favorite place on earth to cheer me up And then it hit me I made a deal with the Transformers that they couldn't refuse 
You have a deal. Subscribe! Subscribe to help me pass Ben. A hundred pin bowling challenge. Let's do this. Fifty-two! Fifty-three. Ow! Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Yeah, it does! What are you saying? Fifty-one. Easy 100! No! Wait, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh. 21! What are you doing? You have to pick those up! Bruh. Trick shot! Take two! Oh. LeBron James and Bowling. baby. I have a massive crush on this girl named Hannah. And last week, I tried to be smooth with her. So, do you ever think we'll be more than friends? Yeah, Tomber. If the world was ending. I was devastated. But then that got me thinking. What if I convinced her that the world was actually ending? So that I could finally date the girl of my dreams. The first part of the plan was to invite her over. Hey, bestie. Once we were on the couch, I turned on the TV. And it was time for the moment I had been waiting for. So, I gave my friend the green light. Command has detected the launch of 12 nuclear what? missiles aimed towards the mainland United States. The world is over? Oh, 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 what should we do? Bruh. It was totally working. How could this plan possibly go wrong? Until... Wait, what? The video ended. You said it was the only way! This is how you get a free burrito at Chipotle. I recently found out that if you order a bowl and ask for double of everything, they will give you enough food in that bowl for two whole burritos for only the price of one. So today, I'm gonna put that to the test and see if that really is true. Once it was my turn, I ordered a bowl and two tortillas on the side. I then asked for both white and brown rice and half chicken and half steak. I proceeded to get double toppings on my bowl as well. Did ordering double of everything actually end up saving me more money? Well, well, it was time to get home and figure this out. And for the moment of truth, it totally did. This burrito was heavier than this five pound weight. Mr. Beast sent me this mystery box. The other day, my doorbell rang, and I opened the door to find this mysterious safe sitting outside my house. Clearly sent from Mr. Beast himself. What could be inside? I needed to find out. I tried throwing the safe, hammering the safe, using a drill to try and get it open, but still no luck. Ah! I will stop at nothing to find out. When all of a sudden, the doorbell rang, and this time there was a key outside my house with a note attached to it that read, Sorry, forgot to give you the key. Signed, Mr. Beast. But the key was bent. What am I... Oh. There, there's another one. <laughs> so I used the key and opened it. At first, there was nothing interesting inside, but then I came across these notes. Here are the pickles, because I was a few pickles short on my last Mr. Beast burgers. And the second note read, call me. I called Mr. Beast, and he just told me how cool he thought I was. She said yes. This is Annie, and I've been talking to her for a couple of months now, and decided today was the day I was going to ask her the big question. People make it their mission to take the craziest photos on Splash Mountain, and today, I was going to become one of those people. I planned this for weeks in advance with my friends and even practiced at home to get the timing right The day came where me and my friends were going to make this a day. She would never forget I had the surprise in my backpack all day and Annie had no idea what was about to happen We had Annie sit in the front So there is no way that she could possibly see what we were doing behind her the time came for the big drop We had everything set and I was hoping that the wind and water didn't ruin my surprise. I rushed her to view the photo before it went off the screen, and I asked, Will you be my girlfriend? She was completely shocked, and... Today, I got amazing news. Chipotle is now giving golden burritos from their secret menu if you have a Chipotle burrito tattoo. And this got me thinking. I've been able to fake my way into getting a free Subway for Life card and a $10,000 golden burger. So this should be a piece of cake. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist, explained to her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic burrito tattoo. Then I found the nearest Chipotle, and it was time for the test. I waited nervously in line until it was my turn and asked, I heard that if I have a Chipotle burrito tattoo like this one right here, I get a golden burrito. Is that true? I was terrified while I was waiting. She was bringing out the manager to see if this was true. They then went to the back and came out with a special golden bag. And...
No way! It's a golden burrito! This is why I'm a genius. Let me explain. Today I'm going to try and get free snacks inside of a movie theater. The plan? To fake my girlfriend's pregnancy. Bruh. My first step was to buy a hollow bowl and fill it up with our favorite candy. Then I had to tape it to her body to make sure nobody would notice. This was 100% going to work. And now for the moment of truth. We bought the tickets and... It totally worked! This was the best movie ever. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you set off every single alarm in the Apple Store? Well, today, we're gonna find out. I started by playing it cool and gaining their trust, but this was taking forever. So, I had my friend Steven distract them while I went to every single device in the Apple Store and set the alarms for all the exact same time. I was becoming very nervous, so I had to do something calming. <laughs> It was now showtime. The alarms are about to go off. The alarms were going off in three, two, one. People in the store had no idea what was going on. And the employees were so confused. And that's when I got caught. <laughs> Today, I am going to send Mr. Beast the first ever Mr. Beast chocolate bar fountain. But first, I've got to make one. So I went to the store and bought every single Mr. Beast bar I could find. I started by melting all the Beast chocolate down. And once they were all melted, it was time to pour it into the fountain. It's working! And now that the chocolate fountain is complete, I decided to make some treats for Mr. Beast. I made some chocolate covered strawberries, apples, more strawberries. Jimmy, I hope you enjoy these. Bruh. Once they were all covered in chocolate, I had to put them in the freezer so they would all cool down. And after waiting what felt like forever, it's now time to send Mr. Beast the first ever Mr. Beast bar chocolate fountain covered fruit. I hope he appreciates this. I was hanging out with my shoddy and I noticed that she had this weird attraction to Fiji water. I'm gonna get a water. Okay. So when she got up to go get a snack, I chugged all of her Fiji water and replaced it with Arrowhead water to see if she was a true Fiji water fan. I carefully placed the Fiji bottle in the exact same spot. And when she got back from the kitchen, she had no clue. You know that's not Fiji, right? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I switched it out. We're done. This is how I win at everything. It all started when I was playing basketball alone because everyone thought I was bad. I was lonely and sad, but then it hit me. I was about to change my life forever. The plan was simple. I was going to paint this basketball with the darkest black paint known to mankind because it absorbs 99% of all visible light and detail. In other words, this ball will be invisible. This is totally working. I can't even see the ball. In the game of basketball, you always have to know where the ball is. So this is the ultimate trick to win every game. Nobody will see this coming. Not even me. How big am I? I'm actually 5'10". And today we're gonna find out how many bottles of Prime it takes to reach my height. One bottle. This tower was already getting tall. I wonder how many it's gonna take. Five bottles. Six bottles. <sighs> From the top. Bruh. Seven bottles. How does this stay? This tower is getting tall. I'm still taller than it. Hurry up, it's falling. Okay, 10 bottles. Oh. Oh, it's on! No! No! My friend Holy keeps stealing all my prime, but every time I ask him about it, he says this. Hey! That's my prime! What are you doing? Nothing, bro. What are you talking about? That's mine! I need to catch him red-handed because there's no way he's telling the truth. The plan? To booby trap my prime stash and hire my friend to pie holy next time he attempts to steal my sacred drink. But when I went to drink some prime after my workout, my friend thought I was holy and accidentally pied me in the face. I am bro! so sorry. Wrong person! Bro. Time for phase two. The instructions were simple. To sit and record. Nothing could go wrong. Until I watched the footage myself and saw this I now know that I cannot trust anyone what happened to my prime time for phase three to sit there myself only one problem I fell asleep after sitting there for hours and holy ended up taking all my prime so when I woke up all of it was gone no no my prime Today, I got amazing news. McDonald's is now giving golden burgers from their secret menu if you have a burger tattoo. And this got me thinking. I was able to fake my way into getting a free Subway for Life card. So this should be a piece of cake. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist, explained to her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic looking burger tattoo. Then I found the nearest McDonald's and it was time to put this to the test. I waited nervously in line until it was my turn 
an ass. I heard that if I have a Big Mac tattoo like this, I get a free Big Mac. Is that true? Will it actually work? They called out my number and it came out with a special box. No way! It's a golden burger! Who can get to the $10,000 without getting hit? Gorilla, dinosaur, or banana? All players have to be careful because the X-Shot Skins Griefer has enough power to hit multiple targets up to 90 feet away. To start, I'm using the all-new Shark Skin Blaster. Go T-Rex! Their new air pocket darts go further, faster, and are even more accurate. Oh, let's go! X-Shot's incredible printing technology makes these skins all incredible. Now I'm using my favorite blaster, the Apocalypse. All right, Banana, go for it. The X-Shot skins grief range comes in six different epic skins. Mm. Bruh. Yo, he got so close. Go, Gorilla. Mm. Mm. Where is he? Choose different, choose X-Shot skins. Try and guess how much this bowl of ice cream costs. $5? $50? Today, my goal is to create the world's largest ice cream. This was going to be expensive. I started with my favorite flavor, oyster cream. Bruh. Growing up, my parents never let me get the flavors I wanted. So it was time to go off. The ice cream supply felt endless. I kept going and going and going, trying to perfect my swirl technique. Yogurtland, you hiring? Bruh. This was getting out of hand. Now time for the best part, the toppings. This Sunday ended up costing over a hundred dollars. Don't talk into the mic and I'll buy you whatever you want. Wait, Jack Torty? Oh gosh, okay, um, how old are you? Uh, I like your shirt, man. All right, okay, fine, you won. I know I won, this is literally my idea, you're copying me. Bruh. Okay, well, bro, you're just gonna buy me whatever I want. This was not looking good. Jack was walking towards all the most expensive stores. Uh something more expensive. How do you even get more expensive than this? Trust me, I know it's fine. Oh no, until he brought me here. This place is gonna be too expensive. Bro, you, you owe me a lot. Bro, I have not made that much money off of doing the same videos as you to come here. Bro. I have never been more scared in my entire life. Um, this one is 43,000. Perfect, 100K on my wrist right now. Let's get them both. You get one, Jack. Alright, I'll pick the $62,000 one. Okay, whatever you want. I can't believe I actually just did that. Dude, this is so far. You can copy my videos anytime now. Bruh. I've always wanted to do this. This morning, I woke up and went to shower, but then realized my building's water was turned off. I was totally crushed, but then it hit me. It's raining outside. The plan? Make a giant sign that says splash me, then grab my soap and Crocs and go outside for my free shower. Oh my god! This was totally working, and it's completely free! Yeah! I feel squeaky clean. Mr. Beast scammed me. Yesterday, I ordered a Mr. Beast burger like I do every day, but this time, I noticed something was off. There was only one pickle on my burger. There is no way this could be right. The menu clearly says pickles with an S, meaning more than one pickle. Mr. Beast was running a scam. Bruh. Jimmy is better than that. It had to have been a mistake. So I ordered another burger and I couldn't believe my eyes. One pickle again. Since this is clearly a scam, I was left with one option to sue Mr. Beast. Bruh. So I began writing a formal letter to Jimmy. I then flew the letter over to Jimmy and awaited my reply. Weeks were passing and I hadn't received anything yet. I decided it was time to confront Mr. Beast face to face. So I FaceTimed him and all he did was tell me it was a simple prank. I never thought this was possible. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to dunk, but I've never been tall enough to. And that's when I got an idea to do some research and find out the secret to running faster and jumping higher. And that's when I found these shoes called Jumpman. Bruh. I had to get my hands on a pair. Luckily, I found them at a shoe store close by and paid $10,000 for them. They even had this guy I dunking on them. Bruh. It was time to put them on and start stretching because there is a myth that stretching makes you taller. Let me tell you, some of these stretches were not easy. I think I pulled a hammy on that one. Bruh. It was now time to put the jump mans to the test. So I ran at the hoop with my full force, jumped, and... Oh, let's go! This was so weird. This is called a miracle berry. And when consumed, it temporarily changes your taste buds so that sour tastes sweet. So today we're trying it out with the least sour to the most sour foods in the world. After taking this miracle berry, these candies should turn out sweet. Up first, we have the green apple. No way! This tastes like straight sugar! Food number two, the lime. This tastes so sweet, it's still working! Food number three. Extreme Sour Warheads. I got this. It literally tastes like candy! 
bro. And now for our last food item. The most sour of them all. Toxic waste. The world record for the longest kiss is 58 hours. And today, we're gonna break that. Since I finally have a girlfriend, I was ready to take on this challenge and become the next world record holder. Everything was going perfect until we got hungry. It then became very obvious there was no way to drive and go get food like this. So we had our friend give us a ride. It was a little awkward, Bruh. but we managed to get through it. We got to the restaurant and then ordered. But then we faced our next obstacle. How can we eat? Bruh. So we just got a milkshake instead. So after this, we decided to go to the mall and do some shopping. And everybody and they mama was staring at us. Bruh. And after walking around for what felt like forever, I got a call from my friends. They really wanted to go ice skating, and my girlfriend wasn't too happy about that. So I promised her I would get her some flowers after. <laughs> Which probably wasn't the best idea. Bruh. I just took the biggest risk of my life. This year, I got a Coachella ticket, but didn't have a place to stay. So my plan, just like I've done successfully before, I'll be asking millionaires at Coachella if I can stay with them. Hi, can I stay with you just for Coachella? No. Bruh. This was brutal because it was so hot outside. No. I was now wondering once again if the word yes even still existed. No. Absolutely not. Until this house. Can I stay with you for Coachella weekend? Is that a yes? So. Bruh. Voldemort's house was actually very nice. And there was lots of fun activities to do. It had a basketball court, a golf course, it even had a pool. Shout out Voldemort, because this was the best weekend ever. This was a dumb idea. Today, my goal is simple. To break the law and get arrested. Why? Because the other day, I saw the most beautiful girl to walk this earth, and she was a police officer. Bruh. Obviously, I asked for her number. <laughs> it's 911. But there's no way I was going to give up just yet. And that's when I realized the only way she was gonna give me the time of day was if I got arrested. I waited for her to check me out and Jay walked over to her. I just Jay walked. Time to arrest me. Honey, I don't arrest for jaywalking, but uh, here's a ticket. Bruh. It was time to step up my game even more. It's illegal to park within 10 feet of a fire hydrant. So I made my next move. No, looks like you still have space. Are you serious? I have to figure this out. So as I was drinking water, I purposely littered. Yes, yes, it's totally working. I'm gonna need some backup. Backup? Hey, 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 what are you doing? No, no, I picked it up. And that is why I can't believe they didn't notice. My dad and I have been coming to this restaurant for as long as I can remember. And honestly, this place almost feels like home. But it's missing something. And that's when it hit us. All homes have family photos on the wall. But this one does. So my dad and I paid a professional photographer $10,000 to take a beautiful photo of us. We then rushed to a photo printing lab and got the photo put on a beautiful canvas. We then went back to our usual spot, snuck in the photo, and did what we had to do. This place now really does feel like home. I can't believe this happened to me. The other day, I was at the park when I saw the cutest squirrel, and I needed to take a photo of it. As I reached for my phone, it fell out of my pocket right through the storm drain. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was crushed, but then realized I had to get my phone out of the drain. Bruh. So I had to use my resources, my gum, and my shoelace. Bruh. As I tried to get the phone, the gum wasn't sticky enough, and the shoelace wasn't sturdy enough, Bruh. so I needed to find some stronger support. Attempt number two, the stick. After carefully lowering the now more so chewed gum, the stick wasn't long enough. So now for my final attempt, finding a $5,000 magnet off the internet in hopes of getting my phone back. After I met up with the guy and got the magnet, I lowered it down and... I got it! I got it! It was totally working! Oh, let's go! I did it! <sighs> but then realized that the magnet completely wiped the phone and it doesn't work anymore. Bruh. I'm gonna take this notebook into a five-star celebrity restaurant and act like a food critic to see if they treat me any differently. They sat me down immediately and had water waiting for me. Right away, I took out the notebook for the waiter to see and started my critiquing process. Bruh. I think it was working because I was getting pointed out by their staff. I then placed my order. May I please do the chicken milanese? And they brought out the food so fast. It has to be because of the notebook. I have never tasted anything this delicious before in my entire life. Does it always taste like this? Or is it because I have the notebook? I think I see the manager talking to the chef. I started taking detailed notes and was about to ask for the check until the manager walked up to me and said this. We have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Our famous lobster 
golden pizza. I couldn't believe my eyes. And then they sent out every single dessert on the menu. After this incredible meal, the waiter dropped off the check and it was completely free. This is Disneyland. And this is Universal. The two most famous and popular amusement parks in the world. And today my goal is simple, to start some beef. I heard that Universal is better than Disneyland. Do you guys think that's true? They can try as hard as they want. They're never gonna be us. The beef has begun. I heard that Universal makes better drinks than Disneyland. Is that true? No! Disneyland had some words to say about Universal, and their confidence was peaking. This is gonna be hard to compete with. Universal wasn't happy about that. I don't care, I think we are better. So Universal's better? Absolutely. Wow. They had their own opinions on Disneyland. Drink wise, honestly, Universal actually has some more interest. Yeah? I would also say they're, they're more decent in price than Disneyland. This has gone way past the small beef I was trying to start. Disneyland says that they're way better than Universal, is that true? Never. Do you guys think that's true? What have I done? Which park do you think is better? Make me cry win a hundred dollars. Once I was two and I came back from my dad and then like my pet fish died and they had to flush him down the toilet. Bruh. Your videos like every time I watch them they make my day. I'm, I'm subscribed. You're subscribed? You're not gonna make me cry, but Here's $20. Make me cry and win $100. You're never going to hit 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> you don't hear just take the money. Bruh. Dude, why does everybody say that? What happens when you bring a horse to a dog groomer? Hey, uh, I want to get my dog groomed. They brought out the entire team and even the manager to debate this request. Oh, I, I don't, it's because I don't no. think they're certified. But as I suspected, they rejected me. Pony was so crushed after being rejected that she wouldn't even have her favorite drink from Starbucks. So we went to the next pet groomer. And after another debate, awesome, here. <laughs> no. Pony was defeated. We galloped confidently to our next groomer. The most fancy pet spa in LA called Groom Dog Care with Love. So I walked up and asked, I'm looking to get my, uh, my dog groomed. What's the name? Oh, uh, this is Tulo. She's a big girl. Okay, right? let me get the groomer. It's time for the moment of truth. So would you be open to grooming Tulo? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. It actually worked. Pony loved her bath, her haircut, and even her new French braid with the bow. Is Starbucks a scam? My grandma and I love Frappuccinos, but they're super expensive. So today I'm gonna make a $1 Frappuccino to see if it's better than the average one at Starbucks. Let's get frappin'. So first I got the freshest milk I could find. Then I added chocolate syrup, some espresso, ice, and then some chocolate chips. And you can't forget, one pound sugar. Perfect. It's time to put it to the test. I took my grandma to Starbucks and told her we were gonna try their new Frappuccino. But in reality, I disguised my drink to look exactly like a Starbucks Frappuccino. It's time to see which one is better. Which one's better? Thanks. There's no way this is true. Why does every toothpaste commercial say number one brand recommended by dentists? There's a million dentist recommended toothpaste. How can we trust them? Today, my goal is simple to walk into every single dentist office I can find and find out which is truly the most dentist recommended toothpaste. Sensodyne. Okay. This was going pretty well so far. I went dentist to dentist to dentist and received different responses. What toothpaste do I get? After hours of traveling, I ran out of dentists in Los Angeles. Angeles. So, of course, I took to the streets to get some more data. I asked people in the toothpaste sections of stores. Hi, what type of toothpaste do you recommend? I use Sensodyne. And even found a guy whose brother was a dentist. Colgate? Yeah. Perfect, thank you so much. And finally got the answer that Crest was the most dentist recommended. This is Prime, and this is Gatorade. Today, we're gonna see which one of them will survive the highest drop. First, we have one foot. No damage done to either drink. Now we have five feet. The Gatorade already has a pretty big dent, and the Prime looks a little beat up, but definitely in better shape. Time for 10 feet. Gatorade this time actually looks pretty good. There's still a big dent, but the Prime bottle completely ripped. This is way closer than I thought it was going to be. Now, time for the biggest drop of them all. 20 feet. 
We have our winner by knockout. Turn.